Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. You feel what I'm saying? So when you watch the tape and put it in your head, I don't know what he said, so, 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 did that with such and such, did that with such and such. I seen that. I seen when he did such, 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 such. I remember she did such, such with that dude and this dude and then the baby daddy did. That's your movie. That's your movie you get to constantly watch over in your head as you're dealing with that person. They giving you they, the new movie now and then you get in the old movies too and you just pull them in your head and then you just like start putting it together. Damn, I didn't see that. I didn't see that last time. Oh, okay. I'm a little devious, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's who you are. Here, let me put this out here then. Let me change this scene a little bit and let me see what you're gonna do with it. And then if they bite, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to take that for what it's worth and move around. Cause I'm I'm a, I'm leave with this. I read this in the book, and Big Tookie said this, which was intriguing to me. Afro would say it's four elements to judge a friendship or a relationship. You can use it either way. Money, a secret, a man or a woman, which means you're in a relationship, right? <laughs> Check this out, and loyalty. They violate that shit one time, they're an enemy. One time, not three, four, five, six, seven, any of them, one time, psh, supposed to cut them out. Yeah. Who does that? Not too many people. Who do that? We, you know what I'm saying? Why, why, why are we afraid to do that? Like you were saying earlier, fear of the unknown. See, you listening. You wide open. You feel me? So it's like, I'm, not, I'm afraid to cut Pico off because Pico provides something for me. I'm gonna have to say, fuck Pico. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause if he can do it, man, see how many people in this world? A hundred million? Yeah. It's, it's, I know it's a million Picos out here. I just gotta go find them. So, signs and symbols in the universe. If I want something and I, I believe in it, I can manifest it. I can speak it into existence. I can live it into existence by my actions. So now I'm going to put that out into the universe and it's going to find that shit for me. It's going to put me on that mission and bring that person to me. And what I mean by that, in a, on a, a clear sense, people always ask God for blessings. God, please, you know, bless me with this. I want a good, a good woman. You know, me and my boy, man, Punker, man, we just want some good women in our life. Then we get two fat chicks, two skinny, ugly chicks. One chick, she, they pretty and fine, but they booty's too big. One of them ain't got no booty. One of them got titties, the other one don't. Whatever the case may be, right? One of them got a job, one of them don't. We don't want it. Because you want what you want. You want God to send you the blessing the way you want it to look. He sent the blessing. Came in ugly ass shit. With short hair, no titties, no ass. But she had a good heart. She was down with you. She was letting you know. She, she down whatever you down for. You refused it. Now you got drugged by old girl over her. <laughs> you wonder why you can't get a good chick. Then you ask for another one. And then she, she a different race. She chubby, she skinny, whatever the case may be. Teeth missing, you don't want We keep, God gonna keep sending that blessing in so many different forms until you accept it. It's that same blessing that you asked for 10 years ago. It just keep coming until you take it. Yeah. And people wonder why we don't get blessed because we don't take the time out to allow a person that comes and presents themselves to us to find out who they truly are. You have to let a person present themselves to you in order to make a decision if you want to fuck with them or not. You can't just pull up on one and they say, hey, baby, what's up? I don't fight with you, you don't fit my criteria. And then three months later, they see a nigga like, damn, this nigga get on. He tried to holler at you. You turned him down because based on what you thought was, you would have felt like it was right. You don't even know the nigga. Yeah. He ain't even let the nigga get it in yet. So you didn't know what was going on. And that's what we do. Our perception is we know everything. And we, you know what I'm saying, we don't want to accept anything. And that's that's how the blessings come. So we have to understand, like, even in this situation with us, bro, it's a blessing. Because it could have went either way. It could have went this way or that way. Yeah. We went this way. The other shit went this way. 
You know what I'm saying? So it was something in the universe that brought us to this moment. It's a reason why we're here. You sitting here interviewing me, me intrigued about what you think, half ass interviewing you back. You feel what I'm saying? But it's a reason why we're here. It's, and, it, and it don't have nothing to do with you or me. It's us understanding why we're here and what the purpose is and what what's next. And what, you know what I'm saying? Where is it going to go? Where is it going to lead you? Where is it going to lead me? Is we going to go together? Or are we going to go individually? Is one going to go higher than the other? Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be on the time that the universe said. Exactly. Shit, so, you know. Closing out. <laughs> you got any last words that you want to leave the people with? <sighs> last words? Man, last words, man. Build your own brand. And what I mean by brand, not no YouTube, not no Instagram or none of that. Build your own brand by being you. Invest in yourself. Build yourself up. If you hold your integrity, your character intact, and your word and stand on that, that is your credit through the world. That is your credit through any situation. Because as long as you hold your head up and keep your integrity, keep your character intact, and hold your word to the, I'm talking about to the T, you're going to survive anything, adversity, any shit. You know what I'm saying? It'll prepare you through any situation if you got those three elements. Without those three elements working 100%, you're gonna come into a lot of motherfucking mishaps, failures, disappointments, shortcomings, and all of that. But you have to put them three things together. They have to be working and coincide with one another all the day long, 24-7. Other than that, hey man, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a philosopher. Hey, I'm just dry trust and shit. So if somebody wanna see the air, and you want to know something about it, you can hit me. I'm on Neighborhood Real TV. You can tap in and hit my IG at Mad One Versus, you know, and tap in. We can talk about that. Yeah, I don't want to talk about no BS with nobody, but if I can enlighten somebody or give them something that I know, it's free. You know what I'm saying? What's not free is the work you got to put into it and the dedication. That's where you don't have to pay for that. I can give you what you need for free, but you won't have to pay it off yourself.